So there's this guy. This guy, dude, man, guy, his name's Eric. And if you don't know who he is already, you've probably been, I don't know, sleeping under a rock or something. He's this YouTuber who has completely destroyed the YouTube algorithm over the last year and shows no signs of slowing down anytime soon. Ever since I first saw Eric's content, I knew that not only did I want to work with him, but I needed to work with him. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. All right, here we go. What's going on, brother? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Bro, this is actually legendary. Hey, what's going on? I'm Teo Fuego. I'm a content creator based in the LA area. Just like every other fucking YouTuber. Shit. Anyways, y'all, the goal of this channel is to create entertaining content you'll love and hopefully turn my creativity into a career. So please like and subscribe. If there's one thing I've learned from studying great YouTubers, it's that big risks are necessary in this game. Over the past weeks, I've been seeking some risk factors for my videos. So as soon as I saw Eric post that he needed a giant band-aid made, I immediately emailed his team without putting any logical thought behind it. Which was dumb, but absolutely necessary. And I was shocked, absolutely shocked. Like the amount of times that I've DM'd Eric or applied to something that he's put out and just received no reply is low key endless over the last year. So when I got a reply within a few minutes, I was like, wow. So we go back and forth a little bit on the email and then the producer wants to get on the phone with me, which we do. This is where I started to get a little bit nervous because the producer was asking me, hey, can you send over some pictures of some things that you've made before? Um. Yeah, I haven't made any props before, so this was kind of an issue. So what I did was find a couple random things from around the house and basically claim them as my own works. I sent some pictures over to him and wham, bam, I'm working for Eric's clan. Bar, son! I was extremely hyped. I knew it was a huge opportunity. However, I knew also that it was a lot of risk. They were basically putting all their faith in me to create this product for them. And I knew that if I didn't produce it, I would completely screw up their entire video. So I was really feeling the pressure. Okay, but now I actually had to build this giant band-aid. And they were on a bit of a time crunch, so I needed to make this thing happen. And I know, at this point, you're probably wondering, Teo, just how big did Eric want this band-aid? <laughs> Eric requested the band-aid be nine feet by three feet. This band-aid is gonna be dunking, y'all. You put this thing in the NBA dunk contest, it's gonna be Duncan. The other request Eric had was that this band-aid be fully functional, meaning it has gauze and adhesive on it to be able to stick to something. So first things first, I had to find and purchase all the materials. Enchanté. I have officially started on cutting out the shape of the band-aid. This is it folded in half. Alright. So here's the finished product so far of this stage. I'm leaving the middle blank because that's where the gauze is going to go. So I just hit the edges right here. This is how it's looking right now. That was successful. Now I'm going to roll it up. All right, so we're about two days out from when I'm supposed to deliver this giant band-aid. Eric's producer just emailed me asking me, where are we at? So I basically told him some things, lied about some other things. And he said, so we're all good for these next two days. All right, so I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but there you are. There you can see the perforations that I put in it. This is looking just like a band-aid, bro. I cannot believe it. Before I could start on the finishing touches, I just had to wait for Amazon to deliver one of my last materials. I got the backing paper. Now let's finish this damn band-aid, shall we? Yes, yes. 
and then I ran into one big problem. Guys, I ran into a problem, so when I was laying this one down, I started getting a weird slant going that way. So I've been trying to peel it back without ripping it. The adhesive paper down there is extremely sticky, and it's really sticking to this paper, so I really am taking my time trying not to rip it. As you can see, I'm putting all these other sheets to try to keep the stickiness away from this paper. <sighs> of course, right when I'm about to finish, bro. I messed up. Hey, uh, future me here. Come on. You know I handled that. I'm done. I finished it. It's the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. Nine foot damage, baby. The only thing left to do was to hand deliver the band-aid and a few other things to Eric. All right, here we go. You got the padding on there? Yes, bro. Oh I told my you. Bro, God. I did it up, bro. This is just for y'all. I did everything I could just for y'all. I put my whole heart into this. I appreciate <laughs> it. I'm part of the Eric Mafia, baby. You know Eric what, you Mafia, know we, baby. You know what we got to do out here for my Let's God, go. bro. That's bro, this is it. actually legendary. Guys, I appreciate this giant band-aid. Yep. Thank you for everything. Of course, thank you for oh the opportunity. My gosh, and I up. actually have some more things for you. All right, hit me. What else we got? What else we got? The world's biggest band-aid. <laughs> Here you go. The world's biggest, biggest band aid. I actually I'm... cut myself a day ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Oh, uh, I was, right. was kind of hoping you'd like put it in the garage or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My finger is better all, than the it's garage. It's all good. Right? No, no, I don't. I'm just playing. <laughs> all right. Bro. And my last thing. Yes, taking sir. a little, uh, taking a little uh, note out your book. Here we go. Here we go. Like I said. I've applied uh -huh. to everything you put out. Yes. And so I want to deliver to you my resume right, and ask this. you, did I get the job? Uh, well, considering we did just pay you to build this, I would say that you got the job, yeah. And <laughs> we are, I, I, did, I did put out a thing a while back that mm -hmm. said I was looking for somebody to build oh, houses and okay. props and shit like yeah. that. If you can continue to help us building things like that, that is a wonderful way to build a relationship because uh, we need stuff like this built constantly. Yeah. I think it's great. Yeah. I'm gonna keep. I'll keep. I'm gonna tell Hayden. Right. Keep hitting him with stuff like this. Okay. Uh, it would be cool to have you as a recurring character. I, I go to you that. every time. I would absolutely. Like we need some that. like dumbass prop or something. Yeah. I'm like, all right, hit up the boy, and then and we'll I'll, go over. Dude, I'll give him my full effort. You down for that? And yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> Everyone's signing it.